Okay, we're live, James speaking, trainingsites.io. Let me ask you a question. How would you like a personal mentor or a coach to help you when you're creating any of your video content, courses, tutorials, lessons, how to, everything where you're on camera? Wouldn't it be great if you had someone who was impartial that could just take a look and say, hey, you're doing this really great and you might wanna consider this to improve things. Well, I'm gonna show you a really neat tool that will do that for you, and I'm also gonna show you a trick on how you can cheat on board games with your kids. So let me explain how that happened. Uh, if you're not familiar, I've been a big, big fan of all of the new Google products coming out, and specifically the one that has caught my eye is the AI Studio ones from Google. And I'll show you the screen right here. Um, this is the one that is multimodal. It's at aistudiogoogle.com. And uh, we're gonna come back to this screen and I'm gonna show it to you because what it does is it allows you as a course creator to uh, two things. One, it's multimodal. So that means that you can give it pictures, videos, audio, text, everything, and have it respond to your requests based on all of those modes of communication, not just text. And the other thing is that it does things live, which was kind of unique because that means it can see through your camera, see through your screen, and basically know what the heck is going on. So the reason this came to me again and why I revisited this is because over the weekend, I was uh, on a little bit of a holiday with family and I was trying to show off to the kids that, you know, dad was cool and he understood all of this AI stuff. And what I did is we were <laughs> playing a game called Blockus. And if you're not familiar with Blockus, Blockus is a, is a board game. And I'll just show you a screen of, of what it's like. Is It's basically a big square and you have a whole bunch of these small squares put together in different shapes. And you've got to connect your squares together to get rid of them as quickly as possible. It was actually a pretty fun game I'd never played before. But what I did before the game is I opened up AI Studio on my phone so I went and opened this tool up right here and I picked the stream real time. And I'm afraid to do this because it might actually uh, break the screen. Let me do another one, see if I can open up a, another one to do this. Um, we'll do AI Studio new chat. Yeah, okay. So this is another, uh, I'll go back to the other one previously. But what I did is I opened this up on my phone and I set it up on stream real time. So the one I selected was here in the middle, show Gemini. And again, this is free for everyone to use. Uh, if you have a Google account and you want to go there, on the right-hand side, you see it says Gemini 2 Flash Experimental. This is an experimental tool. Again, it's available here at AI Studio to play around with. And I picked Stream Real Time. So I grabbed my phone. I logged in to the AI Studio on my phone. And what I did is I basically held it over with the camera and I did two things. The first thing I did is I had it pointing down at the instructions for the game. And I said, hey, can you read the instructions and explain to me how to play? I hadn't played before. So it basically went through and said, oh, appears to be a board game and gave me the instructions because it was reading the text from the camera. And it basically told me about it. Uh, when we started playing, the cool thing was is that I tried this again when we were playing and I basically held the phone up again and asked it and just said, what's my next move? Where should I move? And it actually looked at the board with all of the other blocks in play. It knew how many blocks I had left, what shape they were, and then it said, this is the block shape to play in this particular place. So it was able to understand the context of the board because it was using the camera and also apply a strategy to it. So technically I was cheating at the board game. I didn't win anyways because I didn't use the <laughs> I didn't use AI Studio the whole time. The kids made me stop because it was taking too long to go. And that's right, it is experimental still. But I was playing around with it. And the fact that I could actually do that got me thinking, well, how does that apply to us if we're creating a course or creating a video? Or maybe even if we have created a course or we have created videos. Um, it was able to first see the board. So it wasn't just kind of reading the text from it or taking a transcript from a video. It was able to actually see the board. It was able to understand the game and the rules that are required to win the game. And finally, it was able to give advice based on what it saw and the understanding of the rules that it had. And this is the exact same thing that happens to us 
when we're actually creating content or videos because we are creating the video, it can watch the video, it understands the rules on how do I become a better presenter, how do I use uh, or how did I structure my content, are there room for improvements or suggestions. It does the exact same thing with us if we give it a video to work from. So what I did is I thought, hey, why don't I take a video that I've done before and I went to the regular AI studio here, I just did create a prompt and one of the things I did in the bottom is I just added a video that I had done before and it was a short video. Uh, it was only two minutes long and again, it wasn't necessarily a course, but you can go try this. Take a video that you've done for YouTube or maybe for a course and basically upload it and then ask a specific question. And what I did is I just said, please evaluate my video tutorial, look at both the visual and audio and tell me if the instructions are clear and engaging. I'd like feedback on the video quality, audio clarity, and how well the graphics support the content. Let me know any suggestions for improvement. And basically what it did is it watched the video. It went through the video and saw the video. And it says, I can certainly provide an evaluation. Here's a breakdown of the visuals, audio to clarity, the ones that I asked for, right? The video quality is good, images clear, the colors well balanced, person speaking is well lit and makes it easy to focus on them. Great, check off, that's a good thing. Graphics are simple but effective, support the content, font is easy to read. The over is lit and the screen resolution a bit low which is some fuzziness. So visuals are okay. Audio is okay. Clarity engagement, here's the one that's interesting. This is about the verbal text that I was giving. There's no transcript for this. I basically just gave the video, right? It said the instructions are clear and concise. That explains each step process, simple, easy to follow manner. The video tutorial could be more engaging. Presenter is a bit monotone, which can make it difficult to stay focused. Pleasant tone and easygoing attitude. Conversational and makes it easy. Uh, using ChatGPT advice is engaging and interesting. And actually this particular video that I was doing uh, was one about uh, how to, what the, <laughs> what ChatGPT Chat GPT said, who's going to win the Super Bowl. I was basically explaining what uh, I'd done some uh, uh, ChatGPT uh, analysis of who's going to win the Super Bowl and that's what I was explaining in the video. So that's why it's mentioning that. And then it has suggestions for improvements. The video could be improved if the presenter was more enthusiastic and engaging and it could be achieved by varying the presenter's tone, making eye contact with the camera and using humor. The graphics could be updated and more visually appealing, were adequate but appear simple and dated. More modern design could make the video more engaging and the structure adding an intro or conclusion which I didn't have to add to the particular structure. Okay, so basically it is giving me some really good tips on how to use this and improve my video. Now here's the part that I think is the interesting part for us as video and course creators because this changes everything that we think of when we're creating videos when we have AI tools like this. And what is it? I then went on to ask not about what was kind of the audio and text part of it or what it saw but I said explain the print uh, the presenter's mannerisms. So what this means is when it was looking at the video it had to know who or what was the presenter in the video and what the movements were and that what they were actually doing in the video and then provide some strategy or suggestions based on what I was doing. And again this applies to all of the stuff that we create when we're creating video tutorials. It's not just us with some text on the screen and a slide, it's everything that we do physically in the context of what's being recorded. So if you're doing anything physical, you now have the ability to use these AI tools to really analyze and strategize about the stuff that's being created and also for the students are actually doing this because they're going to have these tools built in to the training that they're watching. So I asked it, you know, what about my mannerisms? Overall impressions? Comes across as knowledgeable, comfortable in front of the camera, generally relaxed and conversational, can make content accessible. However, some aspects of his presence, presentation style could be ref, uh, refined for increased engagement. 
So all valid points, eye contact, facial expressions, hand gestures, vocal tone and pace, body language, pauses and filler words, possible improvements. And it went through some improvements. So here's an example where I just did a simple one and had it actually show me how this changes things. Next time you're doing a video or a PowerPoint slide deck, or you're going through a Word document, or you're doing any kind of content, don't be afraid to use a tool like this to actually go through what you're doing and make suggestions. It's one for you to go and say, okay, that's okay, but maybe when you watch it yourself, you may not see things that other people or other assistants do. This is an easy way to have it evaluate what you're doing, give you suggestions on how to approve it, and check to see if you've done it. Um, this is a really cool thing. I used it to kind of learn how to play a board game and show me a strategy for it. This is the exact same tool that you can use to have it look at yourself, your videos, your course content, what you're doing, and help it set up a strategy for you to get what you want, and that is hopefully being able to start, build, and grow an education business. So if this makes sense to you, you want to find out more about it, make sure to go to trainingsites.io forward slash join. Free community, all my content's there, all of my courses. Would love to see you there. It's free to join uh, just by visiting that page. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do these videos one or two every day, and it's everything about AI, creating courses, creating educational content, and how to build a business with it. This is James speaking. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back shortly with another great video.